Welcome back to Next Gen World. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about fighter jet face-offs in modern aerial combat Rafale vs J-10C. Two powerful 4.5 generation fighter jets, each backed by their nation's pride and cutting-edge technology. But which one truly dominates the skies? Let's begin with the Dassault Rafale Francis Pride, known as the Omniro Fighter. Designed by Dassault Aviation, this jet isn't just ochre and it's a battle-proven, highly versatile aircraft that's been in action from Libya to Mali. Powered by twin Snecma M88 engines, the Rafale can fly at speeds over Mach 1.8 with a combat range exceeding 1,850 km without refueling. On the other side, we have the Chengdu J-10C. China's advanced single-engine multi-role fighter. It's the latest and most refined variant in the J-10 series, designed with significant help from Russian technology. The J-10C boasts a top speed close to Mach 2 and a combat radius of around 1,250 km. It's a deadly machine for air superiority and precision strike roles. Now let's break down their capabilities. Radar systems are crucial in any air dominance scenario. The Rafale uses the Thalesor B2 Acer radar, giving it exceptional tracking, electronic warfare, and multi-target engagement capability. It's proven to track and engage multiple targets in cluttered environments or whether it's air, land, or sea. The J-10C also comes equipped with an Acer radar, likely the KLJ-7A developed in China. While impressive on paper, Real-world data on its effectiveness is still limited. It's believed to be capable but hasn't faced the kind of real combat testing that the Rafale has aced repeatedly. When it comes to stealth and design, neither aircraft is stealth in the true fifth-generation sense, but the Rafale was designed with reduced radar cross-section in mind. Its S-shaped engine intakes and radar absorbent materials give it a significant edge in radar evasion. The J-10C also features reduced RCS design elements, but again, Rafale has a slight edge with its more refined and combat-tested stealth profile. Let's talk weaponry. The Rafale is like a flying weapons platform. It carries the deadly Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, the Mica Missile for short and medium ranges, the scalp and cruise missile, and Exocet for anti-ship missions. Simply put, it's lethal at all ranges. Its ability to carry nuclear warheads also sets it apart as a strategic deterrent. The J-10C, however, has its own strong arsenal. It uses PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile ESA claimed to have a range exceeding 200 command the PL-10 for close combat. These Chinese-developed missiles are no joke, especially the PL-15 which some experts believe could outrange even the Meteor. It also carries laser-guided bombs and air-to-ground missiles, making it a strong strike platform. Let's not forget maneuverability. The Rafale with its Delta Wing Akinar design is exceptionally agile and stable at all speeds. It's been praised by pilots for its handling, even in close dogfights. The J-10C also features Kinars and is agile especially with newer variants reportedly equipped with thrust vectoring engines. While the J-10C may pull some fancy moves, Rafale's battle-tested aerodynamics give it the edge in high-G dogfights. When we compare avionics and cockpit systems, the Rafale stands tall. Its Spectra electronic warfare system is one of the most advanced in the world. It includes radar jamming, deception, and missile warning systems all integrated in real time. This suite allows Rafale to operate in heavily defended enemy airspace without needing escorts. The J-10C also boasts upgraded U capabilities, but here's the catch it's difficult to verify how effective they are in a real combat environment. Most of the Rafale's systems have been used in NATO operations while J-10C remains largely untested in live battle situations. Another key fact aura engine reliability. The Rafale's twin-engine setup offers redundancy and better safety in combat scenarios, especially over enemy territory. The J-10C is a single-engine aircraft, which makes it lighter and cheaper but slightly riskier if the engine is hit or malfunctions. Speaking of costs a Rafale is significantly more expensive, averaging $100 a $120 million per unit, depending on the configuration. J-10C, on the other hand, comes in at around $40 a $50 million, making it a cost-effective solution for countries looking for capable jets on a tighter budget. 
so which jet is superior? That depends on what you're looking for. If you want a battle-proven, multi-role aircraft with top-notch radar, avionics, electronic warfare, and a range of weapons that can strike deep into enemy territory a Rafale takes the crown. It's an all-rounder designed for high-intensity missions in hostile airspace. If you're after a more affordable, agile fighter with decent avionics, solid missile range, and potential future upgrade as a J-10C makes sense, especially for regional powers that don't need full-spectrum dominance but want credible deterrence. Many compare these jets in the context of India and China's military standoff. The Indian Air Force operates the Rafale, while the People's Liberation Army Air Force fields the J-10C. While numbers may favor China, technology, and combat experience put India's Rafale squadrons in a strong position. At the end of the day, air superiority isn't just about specs. It's about training, strategy, system integration, and real-time decision-making. On paper, Rafale edges out the J-10 combat wars are fought by pilots, not spreadsheets. Which aircraft do you think would win in a real combat scenario? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Next Gen World for more epic military tech face-offs, defense news, and global strategic analysis. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious, stay sharp.